The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour 1006, and let's get right into this because the Dow is down 81 at 35,528 after making a new all time high. In the Chapman Wave methodology, let me just do this because some of you are new and having done my webinar the other day. So I'll introduce you to many other things that we discussed, and I'll do it right here. In the chapter we methodology, we try to find the lowest low bar, and from that identification, we start a wave count, and that wave count should go to successively higher peaks. Doesn't have to, but I'm saying this is the the obligation of the Chapman wave methodology is to try to identify a low, then go from a buy signal and see if it gets upgraded to a buy mode, meaning that it should go to at least four higher peaks. I alphabetize these uh, peaks. Uh, in other words, I'm grading them in, in a certain way. Uh, it can go from A all the way to G, A, B, C, D, F, D, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and at D, the fourth highest peak, other things can happen. Doesn't have to, but that's where we've often seen the deepest corrections. All right, let's get that out of the way. Where are we here? We're in leg C. I cannot, this is a daily chart. I have to call it leg C until 4 o'clock when the market closes. And if we have not gone above 35,669, You've got yourself the right side lower high, which makes it a peak. Therefore, it becomes a peak C. Wait a minute. We've got the same at down 75 at 35.533. We've also got what? We've got the S&P uh, making a leg C. It's closer to continuing that leg C. It's only down a two at 45.34. If it goes one penny above yesterday's high of 45.50. Uh, where, where am I? Uh, 45.40. Point eighty-seven. Um, that becomes a continuation of leg C on the daily chart. Any failure to do that makes us a peak C. The MACD stochastic, a uh, ninety-eight percent point seven four. Can you believe it? This is what fourteen, uh, sixteen cents, uh, one dollar sixteen cents away from a hundred percent. Never gets to a hundred percent. This is a fantastic action. In fact, this is a Chapman wave squash formation in the stochastic and the MACD, which says you should go very quickly to peak A, B, C, and then you might take a little longer if you don't get to D immediately. But this is the the talk is the stochastic. The MACD is the uh, is really the overdrive is what keeps the the, the, the momentum going. So talk momentum stochastic talk momentum is the macd so we're looking at very strong action we'll talk about the weekly chart we'll, we'll do that in a little while well maybe a technical friday tomorrow we'll take a little more time on that let's just go to the qqq one two three uh, below yesterday's peak B, uh, makes it a peak B. If it doesn't go above that, most importantly, it's up 42 cents at 375.40. It's trying to garner some strength, but it still is one of the weaker indices. It's not weak. It's just one of the weak indices out of the Dow, the S&P, and the QQQ uh, is, is, I'd say, third. But really, if you look at it, the IWM is actually acting much better. Look, it's in leg D right now in the daily chart. D is what we want for a buy mode. And here it is, a leg D. I always put a little plus sign above that to say that's where you've got to keep your eyes open because the yellow light flashes momentarily uh, until you get other evidence that says it can go much higher. So what we're looking at is <clears throat> at 229.00 is the high so far today. 229.84 was the high of September. Therefore, you've got to watch this closely because that'll start another leg C in the um, weekly chart. It's made a peak C1, C2 in the monthly chart. I spoke about this yesterday. Just let's say that if the Russell 2000 now finds some strength. See, this is the whole thing about rotational corrections. In a rotational correction, what we find is that within one area that had been very successful to take a breather in a major mega bull market like we're in, something else is liable to take its place, even if it's momentarily, but that's exactly what we're seeing right now. And to, to, to go with that, if you look at the XLK, which is the, there we go, leg B at this particular point, strong leg B, 
XLK is the S&P spider, tech spider fund, um, trading down 25 cents at 158. 159.89 was the highest, the only one that we've got. So there's no other way. At least for now, this is what I'm saying. A, B, C, T, E. Oh, there is another way. Um, yeah, so I've got an F slash C at the top here, and that's at 159.89. That was the very beginning of September, and uh, a sharp pullback to the 146s, uh, a 10, a 13 point correction. It's almost 10 percent, and now it's come all the way back. So V-shaped pattern here. This is acting much better than the actual QQQs. Uh, it's a good sign. But let's go to the SMHs because we've got time today. SMHs are down. Oh, are they unchanged? Nope, now they're up a penny. 266.51, still lagging from the 276.69 all-time high that was made August the 16th, same day as the, as the Dow. And now what we're looking at is um, it is in a retracement, but it it actually has gone from a buy signal. I have to wait for the end of the day to probably a buy mode. And if this makes a peak deep below the previous high of 276.69, that's going to suggest strongly. You know, I'll do it tomorrow, but I'll talk about the, the overall market and why the SMHs are so important. Keep in mind, SMHs are, are lagging. That's a semiconductor. We had the whole thing about the chips, and I suspect we're just coming into one of the worst phases of the chip news before we get this talk about glut coming along. And it's going to take quite a while to usurp all that extra chip um, or the, the, the actual arrival on the coast, going to wherever it has to go, um, of um, the chips so that it can go into whatever it goes into. And that's going to be uh, so that January, February, we might start to see a real glut in the chips. <laughs> we'll see how, that, how we deal with that. All right, let's get out of this. We wanted to go quickly to gold. Gold is down just four. It's holding in that mid-range. Silver had a better chart pattern yesterday. It made a leg D to D. Uh, uh, yep, it's still in a leg D. Just under the 200 period exponential moving average of 24.68. Uh, <clears throat> now, uh, I had a question. I'll, I'll do it now while we're doing gold. A uh, question about the GDX. Um, what got you into the GDX? Just real simple. Um, I did that on air, if you remember. I did it quite a few times before. We actually went long. We hadn't been long gold for ages. And we went to the GDX because I said, I love the way that the GDX is starting to lead the way up. And gold is, is really in its own world. And therefore, the GDX miners is, is important to me. I just my own preference. Everybody's got their own preferences. And my preference is to see that the miners are actually moving. That's where the money is, really. So the gold itself. It's doing okay. It's holding quite well. Uh, silver's doing a little bit better, actually, now. Um, and I, I thought that's the best way to do it. So we're, we're all along the GDX, and it's trading at 32.68. It's just down 19 cents at 32.67. But it did make a doji candle peak D in the Chapman Wave. There's all the methodology that I, I show my subscribers all the time. Look, here's the midpoint. Let me just get this down right here. Oh, yeah, we already got a break. I went to the finished... The midpoint uh, at uh, on the 27th of September, 28.83, from the previous high back to 33s, said there's a chance that we could have the same number of bars to the upside to get back to that level. We haven't got quite there, but we have got a D, and we did go above the chap wait, inside track, yeah, sorry, inside wedge, repellent. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, we're back and we're looking at the GDX and I had a question because I said it was at a PD with a doji candle meeting all, all the demands that we're wanting. Um, uh, is this the time to, to exit? I would, I would say do not exit the GDX right now. But if you have any questions for yourself that this is kind of you were skeptical and you're in it and you've done OK, um, take a little bit off. Just just make it so that you feel very comfortable. There's not, I, you know, I don't at this particular point, I do think that I've spoken about this for I don't know, months and months. I said that Bitcoin is the one that's in play with the big moves. And this is the one that. People are really going into as trades, even though it's up at the 64,845 level. I don't think that's the same. I think it's usurped the, the, the action that used to be associated with uh, both gold, GDX. Um, but I, all I can say is I would like to keep it for now. Maybe if you want to take a little bit off, that's fine. It's just part of money management for your own comfort. I have nothing yet technically that says that uh, the buy mode is changed. So until I get a signal to say that, I just think it's in play. And also, look, the dollar is having a difficult time. Yeah, it's pulling back, made a peak F. It's arching over. We're still along the dollar. It's ironic that we're along the dollar and we're along gold. Anyway, that's the way it is. 94.56 was on the 12th of October. And now it's at 93.58. Um, it doesn't sound like much, but these are actually big moves for the dollar because of the trend. So I'm just saying the shorter term trend says it's it's kind of stuck. I wouldn't be surprised if it has to do much more testing of the 93s. And at this point, I'm still calling it a leg F, a possible peak F in the weekly chart, not an alternate count. I don't see any reason to change that. It looks like an F. It's acting like an F. And that says it could pull back to maybe even under 93. But the bigger picture says that it should still continue to try to make higher highs. And I don't know about higher lows, but certainly higher highs. Um, Basil, if you have a chance and you think it appropriate for today's show, could you show how you might draw a down trending wedge on the ES one minute, five minute or 10 minute charts? Thanks. Love your work. Thank you very much, JB. I, I'll do that. It's just this. Let me just have a, a glance. I haven't been updating because now I'm busy in the show. Um, and I had this as a peak. I'll turn account D, E. All right, I'll do that when we get back. There's a lot to do. Uh, let me just finish up here. So I wanted to show you the uh, high-grade copper. High-grade copper has a, a peak D. 
in the daily chart we spoke about that and i said it should be pulling back as why we're looking at copper stocks for my subscribers but nothing yet that's number one number two is um it's really important that you had this fantastic move look at this arch formation look at this uh, inside track repellent zone that it broke out of look at the one to one to the one side look at the cup formation I drew in the left side, right side price time match for 4.8975. What was the continuous contract? 4.823. Um, so it just missed it. But in the time zone, it's still got a little action. It's got another couple of weeks, actually. It's got right up until the 12th, the week of the 12th of November to get to 4.8975. I love the action. I do believe it's going to leg C in the monthly chart. Um, uh, and uh, as far as far as I'm concerned, um, copper is it's broken out of its sideways channel. It's moving to the upside. It's a good sign if you put it together with crude oil. This is economic uh, action throughout the world. I suspect that this is these are all good signs. Within that, you've got your little you know. Think of the coast of where is it? Island? Uh, where, where was it? Where Paul Dark was filmed? Uh, Cornwall, Cornwall. Um, yeah, this is, you know, you've got that, cr the, 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 the tide is coming in. You've got this cr crushing uh, waves against those beautiful cliffs and the, and the big rocks. And that, that's kind of, you know, what we're seeing here is that the tide is still rising and you've got the market now having all these different sectors doing different things. And some of them, the traditional part is out of the, out, just gone out the window and other areas are coming in like the Bitcoin. So you just don't not deny it. It's there. You've got to play these things. So crude oil being up near the recovery high of 2018 in the 85. So this is this is really good action. All right. So I, I suspect, and I've been talking about it for a little while, saying I can see the high 83s, maybe even touch 84. But I suspect that we are about to begin some kind of a consolidation in the crude oil. And that's all I can say right now that it is. Slumberjay, I think, comes up with the earnings tomorrow. SLB, look at this, huge move up, uh, alternate count, G slash B, wow, fantastic, uh, at 20, at 34.47, down 27 cents, and look, there's the cup formation here as well, maybe tomorrow I'll do a little drawing and I'll do these things live so you can see what I do, a little lesson in the trap wave methodology, we'll see if that works out, there will be a leg D in Slomager uh, going above the highs that were made uh, around about what May or so, in the 36, 37 area. All right, let's get back to our story here. We want to look at the TLT. TLT got the H pattern, the dreaded H pattern. Weekly chart made a double top, that U shaped pattern that failed on the left side with a weaker as, as, uh, stochastic. MACD is only now turning down across negative, and that's just suggesting yields are going higher. I mean, look at the TBT. Should actually have been along the TBT. I like the TBT. Ultra short Lehman 20 year Treasury bond ETF at 1875 up 12 cents. I think it's going to go to leg C into the 1920s. Uh, not the year 1920, but the price 1920. Okay, a couple of things we've got. Oh, I've got a lot of questions coming in. Um, okay, NVIDIA. Uh, let's see. Basil, NVIDIA is getting nibble today. Thoughts? Yeah, yeah look, NVIDIA is. This is. This is one of the monsters in the semiconductor index. NVDA trading at 224.12, up 3.11, up 1.4%. And yet the semiconductors are down because you've got this whole mix. Everybody's doing, every, every chart is doing something different. This is the best of the best. I would say to you, out of all of them, there are one or two others. Marvell is one of the great ones. But NVIDIA, I would, because you said nibble, that means that you understand exactly what you're doing today. Um, I'm going to say right on the border in the Chapman wave. This is the, let me just do this live. Uh oh. Green, pink. And of course, you don't have all these colors. You don't necessarily have, not all the charts have them. Trade sessions always just been fabulous for um, technical indicators. And here we are. So it's right in the buy. Uh, sorry, it's right in the repellent zone. If it if it pops over two to five thirty in the next day or so, that's a breakout, and then it should go very quickly to the two forty point thirty three all time high back on the twenty eighth of August. So I'm going to say yes. I, I I like your thinking here. 
Uh, you've got to go with what's working in this particular market. We are very fortunate in our picks uh, for, for subscribers to my opening call. We do have, we have one that's up 1.5% just today alone. A couple that are almost at all-time highs. Let me just check one of them there. Oh, just missed an all-time high. So, yeah, I like this. Um, I, yeah, I agree with you. A nibble. Um, you can even have a little bit more of a nibble if you're prepared to put in a stop. And I'd make this stop real tight. Look, it's up 356. Make it a four-point stop at 2% initially. And then you just whittle it down and, and use... Um, I would use a buy stop and a trading stop. That's the best thing that I would do there. And just let it play out. I'm not sure it's going to go to a new uh, all-time high at this point because of the weekly chart. But everything about it says the MACD's gas is flat at 95% NVIDIA fabrics. I like it. I'll be back. Dow's down. Uh, 95 s is down. 5%. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. We're back. S&P wasn't down five. It's actually up 1.61 right now. And this is what we're looking at. This is a mega bull market. Money just keeps buying in on every dip. Uh, let's go to Rich in Orlando. Hi, Rich. How are you? Doing well, Basil. How about yourself? I'm well, thank you. You're looking at? Fertility. It looks like finally we got some, you know, some strength off the bottom here, and I was just wondering what your thoughts were. Okay, folks. So uh, in my webinar on uh, Tuesday, I discussed a number of charts that had come down like this. 
and so 9.9 9.98 let me just get there so <clears throat> 9.98. So the low three days ago in Tilray, which is in the uh, cannabis area, I used to have it all written up. I don't even remember exactly what they do, but they're in the um, cannabis area. I made a low just three days, four days ago of 9.98. It's trading up two points today. I mean, 28, 30 percent. This is nice. It's at 11.96. Do you have any position? Well, actually, I had a position, and I, I had gotten out of it a while back because it didn't know how far down it was going to go. And right. I was looking yep. for some strength off the bottom, and it looks like that's what we got two days ago. I don't know. So this is so something I do not have I, a position. I don't have a position right now. Okay. So this is something I discussed the other day. And what I said is we're looking at a number of stocks. There were stocks in all different areas, some of them gold, some were in, in uh, um, uh, what am I thinking of here? Just individual stocks that had had great moves and then just kept tumbling down. They kept making the dreaded H pattern, took out the left side low and went lower, took out the left yeah. side low and went lower. And it, so the the move that, that occurred from $12.55 with a doji low on the 20th of August looked like, ha, ah, this could be a good move. So it goes nice, two, two strong candles, pulls back, holds the low and then pops to the upside. But you see it had these four long wick candles and it kept testing the nine period moving average, which was still pink because it was under the 14. And then it made the arch formation and it came down. It did exactly the same thing uh, around about the 20th or so of September. This, and, and I, I was talking about this particular area the other night when we, we were uh, uh, doing my webinar for subscribers to my opening call. I said, this is different. This is the first time that I'm seeing some kind of strength in some of these stocks, not all of them, but some of the stocks in the cannabis area that are doing something different. They've had the MACD actually holding quite well on the pullback, and the stochastic did pull back, but the stochastic was showing that in the, in the teens and single digits, there was a chance that if they broke into the 20% high or higher area, this time... If there was price movement commensurate with the technical strengthening, and finally you could see the nine period moving average cross positive, this is the one time that I'm saying you have to still treat it as a as a an initial just buy a buy signal to buy mode attempt. But it's the first one that I'm looking at that says, you know what? First time I'm looking at weekly charts that could start to improve. This fits exactly in the category, Tilray. So I'm going to suggest if you had called me yesterday, I would have said start a position right here, make your stop. You've got to choose your stop and make, make a fairly tight stop. And if it starts to rally and takes out the high of the previous day, that says you've got a nice little cushion at your entry point. So now you've only lost about 45 or 50 cents, which is not a big deal. If this is going to close nicely over the candle high of the 23rd of September of 12.40, it's at 11.94. It doesn't sound like much, but folks, we're talking about a, a stock that really has struggled. But if I like to look at measurements, and if you look at the measurements from the 60s, it's so so hard to believe. I know that you can also say, I, I can't believe it. This is a stock that at some point in, back in September 2020 was trading at $4. And all of a sudden, in um, February of 2021, it hits a 67 round number high at peak E in the weekly chart. has a horrible candle with a long, long wick. And the body is all under $30. $30. And then it just makes lower lows and lower lows and lower lows, and even lower highs and lower lows. This is the first decent candle. So I'm going to suggest you've, you've obviously kept your eye on the sector because Tilray is, is a particular stock that you've focused on. So I suspect that this is something you've been wanting to buy. You've had it before. I'm going to suggest that you start your position here. It can't be as much as it would have been yesterday because it's already moved up. So give it a little bit, I mean, it has to be a little bit less because of money management. I would start a position at 11.95, and it's unfortunate that it has to have, to be really safe on not getting stopped out on a, on a stock that has the potential 
to go to the 12s, 12.50 and even 13.50 area over the next three weeks, I would say I'd give it about 8% on this initial position. If that's too much, then you'll have to just make it two positions. One will have maybe a 3% stop and maybe the other will have a 6% stop. But you have okay. to give it a little a little bit wider stop. At 11.98, this is the fund managers now, today, for the very first time, I suspect are going to be looking at this whole sector and saying, whoo, wait a minute, there's a sector that's just been horribly beaten down. Let's look at STZ. I use this only as a benchmark because they did absolutely everything right. Constellation brands, spirits, alcohols, when they were in just the spirits business, they were just absolutely the premier company in, in the entire stock market, besides being one of the best stocks, they had one of the best records of earnings. And then when they went mm. into the cannabis sector, they dropped from 236 to 104. But now, and then they ran all the way back to a peak D in the monthly chart and trading now at 217. I would treat this as a little bit of a clue. It's not acting all that well today. But if you can see STZ. I always said it'll take them a little while to get this right. They will get it right, but it's going to cost them in the meantime. Just treat it as a little bit of an indicator to say if SDZ can finally get into the 225 area over the next week or two, it's so a 218 right now, that'll be a clue that the sector itself, this is just my impression, is doing much better. You wanted to ask me something? No, no, that, that's a great thing to know about the STZ because, yeah, if you're looking for kind of a canary in the in the coal mine type of thing I, I, in fact this is this is probably the opposite this is the coal mine in the canary this is the big <laughs> I mean, the, <laughs> this is the big one so uh, yeah so i'm just saying you want to see you want to see the the leading company that's been in business for the longest period of time because you remember um the mj the alternate harvest is this is a baby, although cannabis has been around in some form or another since the beginning of time. <clears throat> the MJ, yeah. which is up very nicely today, up at uh, 1.85%. Um, this is only an IPO that came out. So talk about an IPO. It's December of 2015. <clears throat> so it's really a baby in terms of a business. You know, you yeah. we're talking about STZ goes back decades. So... I would suggest to you that I would start a position in Tilray, treat it as an experiment in, in wave counts, but I think that this is the one that says it could move higher over the next two feet. Hope that helps you. I appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you very much for calling, Rich. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I thought we were back with a bunch of things. So let me see. So there was a question here. Um, where is it? Uh, let me get back to it. Basil, your thoughts on a strong cash flow positive business that only trades 1,020K shares per day. High volume was 200K one day. Undiscovered gem or hands off. Thanks. So it's a very personal thing. I know that there are some people that will not touch anything that has a day trading volume of less than 500,000. Preferably they like a million or more. I have a different attitude. It depends on what you're buying. For instance, way back, we bought the IAI for subscribers, got into it the day after the, the low of March 23rd of last year in the 45s, mm -hmm. straight right now at 112. Uh, we've taken a little bit off, but we still have a big core cool position. I love it. Everyone knows every time I've had any kind of webinar, every time I talk about it. And even here at an all time high, for the last four days, on the 18th, it was at 121,000, 147,000, 100 and uh, sorry, 78,000. And today's volume so far is you have to book an appointment to get a share. It's at 9786, 9786. So, and it's trading at 112. And it did the fan breakout. This is everything that we talked about, I spoke about in my webinar. So, I had said all the time, if you're in a stock, or in this case, it's an index, an ETF, I actually prefer an ETF, even if it's low volume, but it doesn't matter. It's if you're using it as a quick trade, forget about it. You just can't get in and out at the price you want. Even though it's done automatically these days, I, I, I've found that it could even be hard getting out at the price you want. It's almost like an option. You have to keep changing it to, to, to get the price you want. Um, but if you're in because you like the outlook, and I've been really positive the iShares broker and deal ETF and security for forever, um, I just say, get in. I don't care about the price. I'm cared about the waveform. And the waveform, if it's going up, <clears throat> that's all that counts. You won't get your best price when you want to get out, but you're not interested because you're getting in at X. Well, you're not getting in, you're getting in at B and you're trying to get out at whatever it is, E or whatever the letter, whatever the price is. And that's the area that you're going to get out. So if it's if it misses by 50 cents or something, it's not a big deal. You will get out. That's the only thing. If you're using it as day trading, don't touch it because that just makes it really, you might have to wait a long time to actually get your, your position out. In They always take you. Getting in is never a problem, it's getting out. So that's all I can say. So don't let that be the criteria for you personally. Now, for someone like me to recommend to subscribers, I often say low volume stock, and people know. But that's not the issue. If I like it, I like it. Um, I should be checking something right now. I don't want to do it uh, right now, so I'll, I'll skip it. But uh, no, maybe I can. Let me just see if it shows volume. Volume, volume, 258. Yeah, okay, 258,000 at this particular time of the day is fine. That's got volume. All right, so that's, I hope I answered your question. 
the next question I had was uh, uh, STRT. STRT. Wait, didn't I look at this once before? Oh, STRT is Stratic Security. No, I haven't looked at this. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, you see, for me, I'd have a little difference of opinion just in terms of a volume on a stock like this. <clears throat> this is predicated on news. If it's in the security area and it's stuck in this range, it's in, a, it's in the rectangle formation, it can stay uh, in a rectangle formation for a long time. So if you are looking at it and you expect news or earnings to come out and you're very favorable, that's one way to do it. But just as a stock sitting there, I'd prefer to have a stock like this with much higher volume because at any point I might say, you know, it's really not, if it, if it starts at 38, 39.63 <clears throat> to go to 38.30 with a dreaded H pattern, I might say, you know, I want to, I just want to get out. So that's, that's, this, this is a little different. So it has to do with the chart pattern or it has to do with your overall, overall view as the tide is rising, the, the longer term tide is rising or it's it's uh, a failing auto parts manufacturer uh, grow, growing becoming profitable yeah i can see that but i can also see it's making lower lows and lower highs so this is one where you buy and hold it's something completely different uh bars because if you are in it um and you're looking out to january of next year or february in the next uh, a big earnings report that's something completely different i hope i answered you um so the next question i had was TV show question. So I have just something for for uh, one of my subscribers wrote in to say that he's, he would like to speak to me because he didn't quite understand all of just something, maybe the terminology or something. So I will send out tomorrow. I'm going to write it down here. I've got the little thing that I, I send out how to read my opening call traders corner page. Uh, so I'll make a note here. But I've also given you my telephone number, so please call me, um, Michael, if you if you have a chance. Um, I gave you my number. Just I'm either yeah, I'm available or not. We must talk. I want you to be very satisfied with knowing what I want you to do, and how you can do it. So I don't want any questions. It should be quite clear. But if anything isn't, I I absolutely want to answer your questions. So um, yeah. The next thing I will do here is. Uh, FXI, could I just follow up on that here from yesterday? FXI is um, trading nicely. It is up three cents. This is the large cap China ETF. Uh, the monthly chart looks terrible. The weekly chart, this is a little different to the pattern that we were looking on Tilray because you see it's tried so many times. The difference here is that the MACD finally turned up in the weekly chart. Histogram is now positive. And the stochastic is still lousy at 29 percent, but it is running with the unbalanced volume. So I'm not convinced that the China ETF is going to this was the low. It could be a low. It had a lot of the signs that say that this double bottom here at the 3788, sorry, 3746 low of the fourth retest at 3748 um, two days later and then gaps up. Didn't quite leave an island reversal, but it's it's really good action. I, I'm suggesting to you that this is an attempt to really get off the bottom, but I don't think it's quite done. My eye says <clears throat> the nine period below the 14 period in the weekly chart is just too much room for a sideways move to continue a little bit longer before it breaks to the upside. So I need it also. So that's a question, question, question. Oh, so the five minute chart. <clears throat> Here's the E mini five minute chart. So here's the question. Uh, I, what was the question? Ugh, if I can find it. It was much earlier on. Those candles don't play around. Okay. Um, hey, can you just tell me what time it was? Uh, I missed it. It was the five-minute show. It was a really good question. I wanted to get to it, but I'm not seeing it. Yeah. I thought I had it. I didn't. All right. Well, it's now the question is, where is it? It's in leg G slash C. I'll, I'll go through it when we come back. Gotta have a little fun with the with the five minute e mini of four dollars at forty five thirty two. 
I'll be back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage? The Tiger First mortgage program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First mortgage program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So we'll just do this real quickly. Jamie wants to know about the one-minute, uh, two-minute, and five-minute charts. <coughs> <Look>. <coughs> There's a trend line. You see this trend line coming up here because it's got the bases. Bases are loaded. And it says any pullback below 45.28 would start to break this trend line support. It's gone to a peak E. And that means, <clears throat> and with the MACD turning down, stochastic turning down, but the nine period moving average is still above the uh, 14 period moving average, but really close to turning down. Look at the, I love this. You see, the question is, what would I do? <clears throat> right here, I would have attempted, and this can fail, because this is using Chapman Wave methodology, not just the technicals. I, I used that, and I would have gone at 45.32. I would have initiated a short with, like a, I always put a tight two-point stop or something like that. And I would wait for the stochastic, it's for the ninth, under the 14 period moving average, and to see if it breaks the trend line. This is a peak E in the two-minute chart. Sometimes they don't agree. I love it when I get agreement in all these and a G slash C in the five-minute chart. So what I do is initially I start off with a, with a, with a one-minute chart. The two-minute chart is only one minute later, but it could have a different count. It's the same count. So I usually put a little question mark for myself there. And I say, you know, you, you're trying to beat, you're trying to defeat the purpose of, of a particular technique, which is, which is the nine going under the 14. It hasn't done that. But so the, the E 
in the two minute chart is still active. And look how this is held. Look at the trend line. Look how important it became. And now it's trying to rally. At some point, I think it's going to turn pink by going lower. But look, in the meantime, and you've got a GCSC in the five minute. I would have loved if it was an F because then I'd say now I've got more confidence. But at this particular point, it could go to a D and just recycle it here. So that's what we'll look at. I'll do a little bit more tomorrow in Tactical Friday. A couple of last week that I'll go back to showing uh, these intraday charts, do some analysis. Lots of people put on iCloud. So have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Larry Pizzavento. You're going to have to go on. Oh, but the news coming up. You've got Larry Pizzavento and then great program all day. I'll be back tomorrow. And have to go check out my opening call, my daily newsletter.